What's up guys, welcome to your fifth Android tutorial for the new Boston. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is kind of give you guys an overview of what this package holds and what everything means. But basically before we do that, I want you guys to go to uh, the window tab and then Android SDK AVD Manager. Click on our device and hit start. And probably you want to scale the size down because a lot of times it's pretty big. So I like to put 6 uh, for the screen size and that's going to be about 46% of what normally would launch. And hit OK or start. And there we go, our emulator is started now. Now I'm going to talk through, like I said, basically this package and we're going to add a couple additional folders for developing for Android. Now the first folder that you guys see is SRC, standing for source, and this is the code of all of our Java that we're going to develop and here's our package name that we set up within our package name here's our Java class called starting point now we can add additional Java classes within here or activities that we're going to use so that just think of the source as where we're going to keep all of our Java uh, anytime we're working with the source it's going to be Java now the gen folder again you see our package name within there and within there we have a a Java again a code called R and this is basically our resources we aren't gonna do anything with this ever uh, because basically it generates itself automatically if you open that up it kinda shows some resources that I set up it's kind of a reference point and it's nice that uh, Android will d basically generate that for us so make sure you never mess around with that one and then the Android 2.2 this is where all the magic is this is what where the power is for the most part. This is our platform. Um, again, you guys can see the jar. It comes, or there's an Android jar in there. And basically, this holds a ton of different projects, or packages, I'm sorry, a ton of different packages. And within those packages, they have classes. And within those classes, they have methods. So we can use some methods from this package, uh, these packages as well. So that's a ton of power. As you can see, there's a ton of different packages. I know I said a ton, like a ton of times, but uh, yeah, there's a lot in there. Um, basically, just like our package, except they have a lot more classes and a lot more methods within those classes than, than what we have set up. So basically, that's where uh, the Android SDK comes in handy, and we need it because uh, of all the methods. The assets folder we'll get into later within the series. Basically, you can keep some resources in there and use the assets uh, decoder for the most part and get those resources. But mainly what we're going to do, or at least start out with, for when we're using resources like images and uh, layouts and all that good stuff, we're going to do that within our resource folder right here. And as you can see, there's three drawables. This is where we're going to save some of our images, and this is where we're going to... Yeah, pretty much just our images. As you can see, there's three different folders. You're probably wondering why are there three different folders? Well, Android phones, some are have a pretty good density or pretty good resolution to them. Some don't. So basically what you can do is if you have an image that you're going to use for a game or an app, app uh, basically you can save a high resolution or a high density image within this high density um, pixel for the most part folder and then you can have that same image the same name but of a lower resolution um, that you guys have set up within like the low resolution full drawable and also that stands for medium so again the, you can have the same name but if you create a three different images that have different resolutions you can save them within the appropriate folder and then when you reference those images in Java basically the SDK is going to know which one of those images should be run on the phone for you know optimi optimization for the most part so that's pretty cool and that's why they have three different drawable folders now our layout folder this is going to be our XML uh, basically our, our layout this we're going to get into the XML for the most part if you double click on this main one it has it set up for us already uh, this is a main XML called uh, and it, all it is is hello world starting point they did define that for us already and uh, you know that's basically where we're going to set up our layouts in XML now the values tab basically you can keep values in other references such as strings and then you can reference those strings within uh, your layouts or within you know your Java as well 
So again, that's just for values. Uh, what we're gonna what we're gonna do quickly? I'm gonna add two new folders. We're gonna go uh, right click on a resource folder right there and go new folder, and we're gonna type this or spell this folder a or R A W for RAR, our RAR folder. And we're also going to select this package, make sure it's in the right place, and uh, make sure it's the resources, and all lowercase, RAR, hit finish. And this is where we're going to save some sounds for our application. Um, so that's going to be useful. We're also going to create one new folder. And we're going to call this one layout minus sign land. <clears throat> hit OK. Basically, that is going to be for when our phone is tilted on its side. If we want to have an alternative layout, we can put that there. We'll get into that later, but I just want you guys to have those folders set up. Now, the last thing that we're going to define, or I'm going to kind of describe for the most part, is the Android manifest. This is where everything for the most part comes together. If you guys click on it and go down here on the right side, you can go into the actual XML code. It's a little bit easier for me to explain. Basically, it re resources everything that we have, like the version or the API level, uh, the application, and the application icon, which is set to a default that they imported for us, as you can see within the drawable folder, our application name that we set up when we create our project, our starting point class, or, or activity for the most part. Um, that's the activity bracket. So this is for one activity called starting point that is within our application. Basically it, uh, and if you go over here, this activity is our launcher item. So when our activity starts, it's gonna look for the launcher item and start this activity starting point. So basically the manifest pulls everything together and adds your resources for all your different activities. And you can set up some sweet stuff in, within here as well. Now if your application needs to access the internet or you know you want to pull some data from a text message that someone gets and then you post it on their Facebook wall without them knowing, uh, basically you're going to use permissions. You need to get permissions like I want to use the permission of the internet. And you would define those permissions within the manifest and then when someone downloads your application off the marketplace. They're going to see which permissions your app needs, such as, oh, it needs the internet, oh, it needs, um, you know, a receiver of some sort, oh, it needs to access my camera. What is this application doing? Basically, they're going to see that, and then if they want to download it, they can, but uh, that's basically the only place that they're going to see what permissions uh, we're going to use. And we're going to do that within the XML or within the manifest. So basically, that's kind of an overview. Only other thing I want you guys to do real quick is just right click on your whole package, go to run as Android application, and that's going to load up on our emulator. Again, what's going to happen, let's, I'm just going to briefly talk through everything that's happening. Um, as it's loading or it's installing onto our emulator, it's looking for the launcher item, like I said, within the manifest, that calls this starting point class, and then it will call this starting point uh, class that we set up right here, which is an activity class and within the activity it sets the content view to r.layout.main I know this is a quick overview but r.layout.main which r stands for a resource folder then our layout folder and then our main uh, XML again which looks like this so it's gonna set the content view to that um, and that's basically kind of a quick overview of how the activity works for the most part and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial